Deep fly ball, a drive to center field. That'll get over the head of Robinson and all the way to the fence. Lorbeck drives the lane, puts it up, right hand lane, gets it to fall. He'll go to line for one more. Very nice take by Zach Lorbeck. Trying to go around Angle. He stones him far side. Point play gun Angle again and he stops him. Shotgun snap Angle looking left, now looking right. Throw far side, throws a fade up for grabs. Hunter Beachler far side, pile on. He comes down with it. Touchdown Bayport Pirates. Line ball into left field, and that'll go all the way to the fence. Coming in to score will be Hilbert. Feed it in. Maddie Ray, right hand lay in and down. Great seal by Ray. Jerks with the nice lob over the top. Four. Skates to the near side circle, looking for some time. One timer to Martin Suda. Knock off the water bottle. It's a one timer and a goal, and the Pirates they extend their lead. He takes a swing at it. He'll send that one deep to right, and looks like that one's going to be a walk off grand slam for Joe Bayer. And your state champion. Your state champion champion your bayport pirates swinging a fly ball to center Beekman. field it's over and that's it the pirates win it good afternoon and welcome to bayport high school well this afternoon the bayport pirates will take on the sheboygan north golden raiders bayport Three and six on the season. It's been a struggle for Coach Knutson uh, early on in this season. Simply an issue, not being able to score runs. And so hopefully tonight the Pirates will get some runs and come out of here with a victory on a cold and blustery spring day from Bayport. Mike Frieder joined by Mike Plummer. How you doing, Mike? Good, Mike. How are you? I didn't know you knew anything about baseball. Well, I, no, I don't. You're right. I could run Game Changer. Hasn't prevented me from doing many of the yeah, games. So I could run Game Changer. Not a problem. So that was so. my job. It should be good. We're a couple minutes away from uh, game time. And with the starting lineups, we'll go to Mike Plummer. Starting out for Sheboygan Golden Raiders. Batting first, number 24, Luke Kuznacek, playing shortstop. Number 21, Adam Lorge, DHing. Number Batting third, number 10, Josh Fisher at third base. Batting cleanup, number nine, Mark Williams out in left field. In the five spot, number two, Tristan Hunt, pitching. Number six spot is number one, Brett Rabarczyk, center field. Number 12, Blake DePager, playing first base. Batting eighth, Eric Pearman, right field. And batting ninth, Gavin Casey, catching. And Zach Brown will be playing second base for the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders. Zach Brown band? Zach Brown band. Wow. We got music and everything at halftime. I can do it all. Maybe between innings, sorry, not halftime. Shortstop for the playing for Bayport Pirates tonight. Leading off, starting at second base, number six, Caleb Schreerl. In the two spot, number three, catcher, Cal Casper. Playing shortstop, number two, Carter Calise. Batting four, left fielder, number 15, Craig Cabot. In the fifth spot, number 18, Ethan Plogg, pitching. Number nine, Bo Jensen is DHing. Number 10, Dylan Heyer is batting, thir- uh, excuse me, playing at third base. Number eight, number four, Brooks Knutson gets the start at first. And number 24, Carson Hawley is playing in right field. And Sawyer Larson is your center fielder today, number 17. Today's game day officials at home plate, Joel Seehafer. So we'll step aside here for the singing of the national anthem by your friendly public address announcer, Troy Frisk. Your able gentlemen, remove your caps as we honor America. With the performing of our national anthem, singing the Star Spangled Banner will be your friendly public address announcer, Troy Frisk. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight O'er their hand pots we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. 
Pack press box up here. We uh, got almost Chris, had a senior moment there. We got Chris Learman, uh, Mike Plummer, myself, Eric Sorensen, and Troy Frisk. I smell like a small person right now up here in the press box. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll stay warm that way, Mike. So Ethan Plog will start off. I'll do the play-by-play -play in the odd innings. Mr. Plummer will do them in the even innings. All righty. So Ethan, the left-hander. Had some arm problems, Mike, early on this season. Uh, he's only pitched a few innings, so expect him maybe to get 50, 60 pitches in tonight. But uh, he's been outstanding for the Pirates in the past, and hopefully he can do the same tonight. A couple changes for the Pirates. You're going to see uh, Bo Jensen batting tonight. And so let me my first look at uh, Bo, the junior. Bo's a catcher by trade, but today he'll just bat. And then at first base, you got number four, Brooks Knutson. Son of Harvey Knutson. So uh, looking forward to seeing him play today. So a little shake up by the Pirates in the lineup. You got Carter Kalis batting third tonight, which usually leads off. Pirates looking to get some runs. But first, they'll try to stop Sheboygan North here in the top of the first inning. Uh, runs have been uh, hard to get by for the Pirates this year. Uh, they struggled at Manitowoc. He got a 1 0 lead going late in the game and then ended up losing a 4 1 contest. And, you don't win a lot of games unless you get more than one run, even with the pitching that they have. Joel Seehafer, your umpires, along with Dennis Bogatz. Dennis, a uh, former coach at Pulaski. And so Joe from Green Bay, fourth year doing baseball, also does basketball and softball. And Dennis does baseball and softball. So uh, without the ups, there wouldn't be a game, Mike. That's right. And Bogey's Without the scorekeeper, there wouldn't be a well, game. Well, yeah. there would be, but... Well, we can make one up. Probably so be more accurate those. of a game, actually. Yeah. They don't really need us. We can make them up as we go. So so to lead off, Luke Kuznoxix. We'll go with that. <laughs> that sounds good because I guessed. First pitch by Plog. That pitch is outside. Usually Chris takes care of making sure we got all those pronunciations done. Luke left-handed batter. That's going to be fly to center field. Can of corn out there for Larson, and he makes the catch for the first out of the inning. So two pitches and one out for the Pirates here in the first. Andrew Lorgi, now your batter, the designated hitter. Log winds and delivers, strike one called. Cold night here, or after, late afternoon here at Bayport. Cozy up here in the box, though. Everyone's kind of bundled up, cuddling up. Well, that you got your blast furnace working. It is, <laughs> right down here by my feet. 0-2 oh, the count, <laughs> Plog winds and delivers. Strike three called, sit down. I think Ethan doesn't want to get cold tonight, so he's going to make quick work of the you know, Sheboygan team. One of the things I like about Ethan, he doesn't waste a lot of pitches. He likes to throw strikes, pound the zone, and he pitches fast. And right now it's a good thing because it's cold up. Yep, it is cold. So Ethan's going to keep it going here. Josh Fisher to the three batter. Strike one swinging, and Plog is dealing right now in the first. Fisher, your third baseman. Plog looks in at Casper. The 0 1 pitch. Just a bit outside. 1-1 one, one now to Fisher. Sun's popping out now. It's at least 45 out there right now. 1-1 one, one count, and he swings through that one. 1-2. One, Ethan looking for his second K here in the first inning. Get the Pirates up to bat. A little high. 2-2 two, two, now your count. Winds are blowing here. Out to right. Coming out of the west. That's inside. Now the count's full. That one gets away a little bit from Casper. Spoiler North player runs over to get that one. Chris Learman doing the production today. New camera Chris has had, so appreciate your comments on that. 3-2, the pitch strike, three, swinging. 
And they go down one, two, three. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. And after one half inning, score 0-0 zero, zero here from Bayport. Listen to Bayport Radio. Sportsmanship doesn't stop when the game ends. It's part of the community you live in. Respect, character, dignity. Your community, your team. We're a proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Insurance Sportsmanship Award and have been since it began. It recognizes that sportsmanship matters in your community. Visit RuralMutual.com slash WIAA and see how our team and your community can work together to be true champions. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's pizza order of 30 or more. Call us for delivery. It's the best way to feed your office for lunch. You're listening to Bayport Pirate Sports on NEW Sports Radio at newsportsradio.com. Back to Bayport High School where Ethan Plogg made short work of the Sheboygan Golden Raiders. Pirates a little different order tonight. Caleb Sherrill will lead off the second baseman, followed by Cal Casper and Carter Calise. Hopefully you see Cabot, Plog, Jensen, Heyer, Knudsen, and Hawley in this inning as well. But first it'll be Caleb Sherrill, Tristan Hunt, your pitcher, Gavin Casey, your catcher. Hunt winds, delivers first pitch of the night. Umpire flinches at that one. Hard to call it a strike when he didn't see it. So that's a ball. <laughs> I think that one might have bounced before it got there. Yeah, he was worried he was going to get that one in <laughs> parts unknown. Yep. <laughs> 1-0 the count. <laughs> that's a strike. Guy's wearing uh, gloves out there, white gloves, like he's uh, like a chef or some type of yeah, waiter. Yeah, he's Mr. Clean, but <laughs> <laughs> at least you can keep track of his hands. Hunt winds delivers. He just got done with his painter's job. And One, two, now the cow. Off. Yeah, he got a little late home from the <laughs> Sherman Williams store. <laughs> One, two, that's going to be in the turf, not the dirt, obviously, here at Bayport. Two, two, now the count. Caleb Sherrill trying to get out anyway here, get something going for the Pirates early on. Hunt looks in at Casey. The two, two pitch. Curveball, that one's shot. Trent Noy trying to make a play, but he can't. He's getting old. He is. Reflexes of an 80-year-old down there. At yeah, third. he used to be cat-like. But he was, but. That whoop. passed him by a long time and ago. Coach Wilchis definitely outquicks him. No question about that. Once again, 2-2 two, two count. Hunt delivers. That ball shot to right hit. field. That's going to be a base hit. So Cheryl gets it going. Center fielder falls down, but Caleb's going to take a wide turn and stay at first. Pirates with their first hit. I see we got a freshman out there doing the bat boy duties. <laughs> yeah, he's a young freshman. July birthday, probably. Yeah. Young for his age. Cal Casper. Cal trying to advance to runner. Cal's not button. I can guarantee you that. That ball's in the dirt. In the turf, nice block there by Casey as he gets behind that one. Cubs play tonight, sir? We already did. We won. Really? Eight, two, eight, three. Wow. Sisters of the poor. <laughs> Hunt delivers to Casper. That one's outside, 2-0. and oh. Not sure if the Pirates have scored in the first inning this year. Matter of fact, I'm not sure if they've scored in the most innings this year. <laughs> I was going to say, did they get anybody on base in the first inning? 2-0 the count. They look over and try to get Caleb leaning over there, but that doesn't happen. Oh, Squirrel's got his oven mitt on. 2-0 count. Like... Welcome Craig Bone listening tonight. <laughs> That's ball three low. Pirates trying to get something going here in the first inning. And John Kreischer and Dan Waddle are also watching us tonight. Appreciate you guys tuning in tonight. Better to be home probably than here right now. No, 3-0 count. 
That one's right down Lineville. I was doing a rummage sale. It was this is better. Trust me. Doing a rummage sale today? Yeah, uh, we did. Well, rummage it's a big sale. weekend for rummage sale. Yeah, so I'm going rummage sale. Big uh, rummage weekend. Yep. So you pretty much loved it when you had a chance to get out of that, Mike. You turned right, I did. <laughs> Three one. That one's outside ball four, and we got runners at first and second. The shortstop number two, Carter. So Carter Calise, you usually see him in the leadoff spot. Carter, I think, leading the team in hitting right now and in a good spot here to pick up some RBIs. Coach Noe trying to tell Carter what he wants to see here. Coach Knutson's going to come out. Coach just had a lot of steps this year. He likes to talk to the umps. Worked that cheddar worst off that he had for lunch from Quick Trip. Courtesy runner going in, Mike. Be a courtesy runner, yes. Courtesy runner at first base, number five, Keaton Hendricks. Hendricks now in the game. A couple things went sideways there in one game with the courtesy runner, pitch runner issue, and it was explained to me, but I didn't understand it, so we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> kind of like your lacrosse broadcast? Well, careful. <laughs> careful, careful, Mike. Actually, the professional lacrosse lean called me and told me they will not be hiring me. <laughs> I give you guys credit because I watched it, and honest to goodness, I thought there was four different sports going on all at the same time. <laughs> oh, on the count to Casper. They're going to go back to second base trying to give Caleb Sherrill, but no dice. Oh, one pitch. Hunt out of the stretch. Trying to work his way out of the first inning. A little mini jam here. Pitch low. Nice block there by Casey. Runners stay at first and second. So one, one, your count. Craig Cabot, the left fielder on deck. That one's lifted. Short pop fly, he'll be a tough play coming in in center. The ball's going to drop. A single in the books, and they're loaded. First, second, and third. Take them any way you can get out. them. Take them any way you can get them. A little windy out there, too, tonight. So Cabot now with the bases juiced. Craig can get one up going to right field. There's a pretty good chance it's going to go out with the wind blowing the way it is today. It's blowing pretty heavy out there to the right. Cabot, however, a right-handed batter looking for that power alley. Hunt to Cabot. Strike one swinging. Ooh, 20 miles an hour blown out with gusts of 33, so get her up there in the jet stream. She's going to carry. Hunt looks again. He's out of the stretch. 0-1 pitch to Cabot. There's a the ball hit to right. Right fielder coming in. He's going to make the play. He dropped. Oh, that I'm was sorry. glasses Not dropped, and it's going to be tagged up, and runners are going to advance as the ball trickles through the middle infield. And the Pirates lead 1-0. I saw the white fall, and yeah, I thought it was the ball coming out of the Yeah, kind of there. I agree with you there, Mike. The pitcher, number 18, Ethan Plogg. So Ethan Plogg now to try and help himself out. Plogg uh, mowed him down in the first. Ethan looks sharp. Hunt trying to get out of this one. Could use a strikeout here. Second and third. No force play on the game. Plug swings through a big curveball. 0-1. Pretty warm up here, actually. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I got the heaters on. Yeah, no wind. That's a big difference. No right snacks now. tonight, though. I didn't want to do the Sort of didn't bring snacks tonight. I was thinking wings, maybe. <laughs> 0 2 now, the count. Well, I've talked to the chef downstairs. Concessions open? I don't know. You saw hot dogs? No. Oh, hard for you to resist that sort. <laughs> that ball hit the third. Third baseman picks, flips. He'll go to first, and it's going to be dropped. It's going to be an E5 in the books, and the bases are loaded again. 
So Bo Jensen now, the junior, gets a shot. Bo had his first uh, varsity experience, I think, during the last game. So coach liked what he saw, and he's going to go with Jensen. Bo's a catcher. His mom actually works with my wife at St. Vincent's. The pitch to Jensen. Nice block there by Casey. Pirates trying to throw a crooked number up here in the first. Derek Heyer on deck and Brooks Knutson to follow. If the Pirates get that far through the first. 1-0 pitch to Jensen. Hunt to Jensen. That one stopped again by Casey. Not Bob Casey. Former teacher at Bayport many years ago. I remember Mr. Casey of Coach Low Football with he Bob did. back Bob in the past. Did. Great guy. Tell good stories. Hunt delivers again. That's outside. 3-0 now to Bo. So Bo will be taken here with the bat on his shoulder. Maybe the old square to bunt to try to throw off the uh, batter. One of my favorite plays in my Little League days. Remember Eric Sorensen once telling me the story how he played high school baseball here. Coach Cy was his coach. Oh, Coach Cy. I, I see Coach, coach? Cy. I see old Cy. Okay. I see old Cy. He goes, Sorensen never played baseball. 3-1 <laughs> now the count. I couldn't believe it. Strike two. Oh, no. I think he called that one a ball. He called out. He just pointed down to first base. Showed him the way. The third baseman, number 10, Dylan Heyer. Who scored on that play, Mike? Uh, whoever was that for? Uh, I think Carter. Who was that third, I guess. Who was that third? <laughs> Carter, Carter Cleese, I believe, was the one that came home. Oh, oh, yeah. Hendricks was Curse. For Casper, right? Casper, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember that third one, no doubt. I got that part down. <laughs> Trying to fill in for Cole too, you know. Well, <laughs> you're right now. You're about right now. You're about tie with him. <laughs> it's a big shoes to fill. <laughs> well, we only pick on Cole because we love him. Well, Chris Lee trying job. to fill in for Connor Olson too. That's no big. That's a Those another big pair of shoes. <laughs> well, sores in his usual spot, so. Dylan Heyer now. My understanding, Cole is in a place much better than we are right now. Really? Math class? Close. Oh. He's, it's warm. He's down in... Uh, Where'd he go, Chris? Somewhere in Mexico. Yeah, it's somewhere warm. That ball's inside, so... Hunt having a hard time locating his fastball, his curveball, and his changeup right now. He's hunting for the strike zone. And he that's lost That's going to get back to the, comes off hard to the bricks, but that's going to score a run. Bases are going to go to second and third now. Pirates lead 3-0 as Khalees scores. Carter Khalees scores. This could get ugly in a hurry, boys. Well, we asked for one run, and they've put three up so far. We so got three up so far. We're doing well in the first inning. Hunt delivers. Strike one called. And the Sheboygan North faithful with a round of applause. A little Bronx cheer over there for them. <laughs> All six of them. <laughs> Two on the count. Higher the pitcher. Batter, I mean. He swings through that one. Count even now at 2-2. Two -two. Dylan, your third baseman. Hunt trying to work his way out of this one. Could use a strikeout right here. 2-2 two -two pitch. Ball, it gets to get by him. It's going to score another run for the Pirates, says Craig Cabot. That one squirted between the uh, catcher's legs, and he couldn't find it, and it rolled back to the backstop. Kind of like a five-hole in hockey. It's just Ethan Plogg scoring on that play, I think. Yeah, Plogg was on third. Bo Jensen goes to third. I don't know who's playing first. <laughs> Three two to hire. 
Oh. That one's popped up right side. First baseman looks like he can make a play on it. And he does. No tag on the play. Brooks Knutson now your batter. Brooks bats left-handed, much like the legendary Harvey Knutson. Well, maybe he can turn on one and get it up into the jet stream and take it out. So two outs in the inning. Knutson spends a lot of time in the weight room. Swings through that one. But does he lift any weights? He does. He okay. looks hard at it. I had to ask the question. There's a lot of people like that, Mike. I know. <laughs> yeah. You see John Vandermoss after school. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully Johnny V's listening in tonight. Knudsen swings through that one, too. 0-2 oh, now. Brooks trying to score another one. The Pirates have four here in the bottom of the first lead, 4-0. Hunt trying to wiggle his way out of it. Hunt to Casey. A little off-speed stuff, high and outside. Shortstop backing up the pitcher there. A little low throw back to the pitcher. Hunt once again out of the stretch to Knudsen. Knudsen's left side is going to get a hit. Punched it through. Big hit there by Knudsen. Nice piece of hitting there on a 1-2 count, just like his dad. His dad would have went yard there. <laughs> Brooks snuck her through while going opposite field with it. Drove in a run. All right, it's got five here now in the first. Now, let's see what kind of legs Brooks has. He's got two of them. I wonder if he's fast. Carson Hawley, your batter. Hawley swings through that one. Your right fielder. Plug usually in right, but with him on the hill tonight. Brings Carson Hawley in the right field. Knudsen with a lead. Brooks not going. That one's hit to left center. That's, that's trouble. Center fielder's Went back. It. Under it. Nice play there by Rabacek. But not after the Pirates get five runs in the bottom of the first inning. After one, Bayport 5, Sheboygan North 0. Listen to Bayport Radio. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's pizza order of 30 or more. And it's all you can eat at our lunch buffets at any of our four locations. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Luxury vinyl floors are waterproof, kid-proof, and pet-proof, so they can stand up to real-life conditions. You'll find the largest selection at Mako's. Do it yourself or trust our guaranteed installation. Mako's, your premier flooring center. Now that's value. Tyrese is welcome back here to the yeah, sec top Tyrese. of the second inning. We were just discussing the uh, menu for tonight's television. Brewer game is on, and then the Bucks game is on. No, Sunday. Sunday? Bucks don't Bucks play till Sunday. Oh, all right. Well, the Bucks are going to play Tyrese Halbert on Sunday then. Oshkosh. The North? Pirates jump out and take a 5-0 lead in the first inning. It was a real good start for them. Probably the most runs they put on in the first inning all year. In fact, I know it is. All right, leading off for Sheboygan North will be left fielder Mark Williams. Ethan Plogg's on the bump, ready to let it fly. First pitch is in there for a strike. Yeah, like he just pounding the strike zone right now. <sighs> Ethan doesn't like to waste time. He keeps things rolling and oh, that was a little bit low. Yeah. Ethan's got a real nice curveball when he wants to throw it. It's very deceptive coming in. 
strike two. Got a one two count on him. Strike three struck him out. Williams takes the first is the first batter to go down. Now up Tristan Hunt, the pitcher for Sheboygan. Batting from the uh, right side. See if he can get something pulled around here to get going. Ethan striking out three of the first four. And Pirates struggling with the round the horn yeah. right well, there. We'll take the outs and the round the horn thing can wait. That's what they got practice for. First pitch over the outside part of the plate for a strike. I think Ethan found a warm spot in the dugout, and he doesn't want to lose that spot. So he's working pretty quick. There's a fall tip, strike two. I think Don't Mr. waste any now, Ethan. Go get him. Uh, Ethan's going to rear back and let it fly. Strike three, setting them down. Three straight pitches, and now we get it around the horn. We get it to work. Ooh, almost. No, oh, shoot. I looked out before yes. I waited until he finished. Now batting, the center fielder, fielder Brett, one, Brett Rabarchik. Rabarchik. I was waiting for Troy to see what his version of it was going to be. Well, Troy's never been wrong. If you don't believe me, just ask him. Right. <laughs> strike, strike one over the outside corner of the plate. It's always Ethan, fun to be up here with everybody. Ethan's doing Even a Eric. nice job tonight, wheeling. There's strike two. That one popped out of Cal's glove, but... Right now, through almost one and a one half innings here, Sorensen perfect on the scoreboard. I know. This is his best game of the year. <laughs> he was a little sluggish there putting that first home run up, though. That's strike uh, that's three. That's three, by the way. Rumpire called strike two there. That's yeah, three. That was three. That's. But 10 pitches, nine strikes. I think we'll take that any day of the week. Pirates, or excuse me, Sheboygan goes down one, two, three, and. Coming up in the Pirates half of the order is we go right back to the top. And Caleb Schreerl, Cal Casper, and Carter Calise taking it up for the Pirates. We'll go to break here. Sports bar after sports bar after sports bar. All the same, right? What makes San Jose so different? What makes San Jose so different? Come and find out. At Bell & Health, we believe when part of you is injured, we have a part to play. Whether you're injured swinging for the fences or tending the hedges beside them, whether your goal is to play across the pond or star in Swan Lake, whether you're injured building strength or using your strength to build. Our part is to provide no-cost injury consults no matter what part hurts. That's all right, free of charge. Welcome to the Orthopedic Walk-In Injury Clinic at Bell & Health Titletown Sports Medicine. Mr. Bush, Steve Zahn are listening in today. Connor Olson, Aaron Schutte is listening at home, enjoying an adult beverage. First pitch missed by Eric Sorensen. Took to the bottom of the second. There you jinxed him. You shouldn't have said anything. There's a strike coming. Caleb looking at a 1-1 one, one count. Caleb hit to right field last time up. That was in the top of the first. Got things going there, Mike. Yeah, he's done a nice job. See if he can keep that. Oh, he's going back right field. Pop foul out of play. Coach Dubs doesn't even move on that one. I don't think I can remember the last time he's moved. <laughs> Although he did come off the, after the last inning with an arm full of apparel, gloves, battle gear. Here's the pitch. Coach Dobbs. Oh, lost squirrel about, jerks uh, one left foul. 45 pounds, I think. He's down, he told me. Is he? He's he looking slim. He got injured in a pickleball game, though. <laughs> that, pickleball, that pickleball thing is pretty brutal. Yeah. There he popped him up in foul territory. The catcher is looking for it. And foul tipped off his glove. So squirrel or Caleb gets another crack at it. Caleb's one of the kids I coached as he was coming up, and his nickname is Squirrel. So I 
refer to him that as that quite often. It was easy to say squirrel than Cheryl. It kind of rhymed. Oh, that's the, uh, okay, that's the reason why. Yeah, it okay. kind of rhymed. Squirrel was easier. First he still answers to it. First baseman probably should have made that play or attempted to instead let the catcher do that. That's a tough play for the catcher. I know he was calling it, but. Squirrel with a false timeout. Uh, he didn't like what the uh, pitcher was. Now he thinks the catcher's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a good thing there's only about 10 people that listen to this. <laughs> there's a fallback by Squirrel. <laughs> One and two of the count, nobody out, nobody on. Keeps looking back at him and smiling. <laughs> Looks like Squirrel's got a mouthful of nuts. He's got a pretty big pinch in a uh, something, gum oh, or something. Oh, it's only the second inning, folks. It gets better. Yeah. Probably a good thing there's only seven. Here's a pitch. Caleb drives one up the middle to the shortstop, comes over, makes a throw. Low, not a pass the first baseman. We're going to have an error on the shortstop. And Caleb makes his path over to second base. But I don't know if you noticed, Mike, but things not really going the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders way right now. Yeah, I would say that uh, he came up with it. He looked good. And just didn't quite get it there. Cal Casper up. Heading to Winona State next year as a baseball player and a student, hopefully student first. As my son would say, the Harvard of the Midwest. Jake being a graduate of Winona State. Yeah, Jake working for us right now. Yeah. Doing a great well, job. He's, he's showing up. <laughs> he's there. <laughs> he's there. I've seen him. <laughs> he collects a paycheck, so he must be doing yeah. something right. We need people like Jake. Jake, long-term subbing in our special ed department right now, gaining some Great now, but if you're looking for a FIA teacher out there. Yes, yeah, he is. He's looking for a FIA job. Yeah, was text me. Adaptive PE minor. Coaching JV baseball. He's actually over in the uh, JV1 diamond right now coaching their game. It's got to be warm over there. I don't think so. He called and asked me to bring him a vest and another pair of long johns. Mike, he's a big boy. He should be able to handle that. Oh, well, he's I a told professional. Him I, told him, I told him to take it before he left this morning. but Didn't you know, listen to you, did he? No. You, you, you know, you've got two boys. They yep, don't listen. Yep, no, they don't listen. Buying books, buying books, chewing the covers. <laughs> Strike there by Cal, took a crack at one. Got a 2-2 two -two count, nobody out, squirrels on second base. <laughs> this is going to go wrong in yeah. a whole big hurry. Skunk at the plate. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the Calvinator. <laughs> Foul tip, strike three into the catcher's glove. Now coming up, Carter Cleese, your shortstop. The shortstop, number two, Carter Cleese. Cal struggled with the bat this year. Hopefully he can get that right in. Carter is going to bring Squirrel home. Carter's had a decent year with the bat. There's a throw back to second base. Caleb's back in plenty of time. Always told the boys, if you could get back and the guy didn't have the ball there, you were too close, you need to take another step. You were a big base stealing threat in the day, I, you, No, I, I ran track. There was no threat of me playing baseball. <laughs> the thing about catching a fly ball was just foreign to me. <laughs> no, I tried that once. The goalie catcher thing, that's a, that's a fallacy. That doesn't, doesn't work. They, got, they frowned on it when I started deflect, uh, deflecting it into the corner. <laughs> There's a fly ball out to left field. Left fielder's got an eye on it, makes the catch. Caleb gets back to second. Throw coming in was a little sketchy, but Carter flies out to left field for out number two. Fielder, number 15, Craig Cabot's up the bat. I think that's Hot Rod Ludke is our is the bat boy tonight. Jeff's young man. Jeff's littlest one, yes. Turned out to be quite a ball player in his own right. There's a ball just outside. Okay, Gavin Casey doing a nice job behind the plate. For he's taking a lot of balls in the turf and come up with most of them. Yeah, he's doing a nice job. He's earning his keep. A one-zero count to Craig. Cabot drives one at the second baseman, who's now makes a catch. Throw over to first base, and he got him. 
It was a little sketchy in the first baseman. I thought maybe he was going to tip over and drop the ball, but pa Pirates get one on and strand him at second base, and the end of two, the Pirates five, and Sheboygan North zero. Hurt. You shouldn't have to wait for care. You can be kept waiting for weeks at most healthcare organizations, but at OSMS, we prioritize you. I'm Dr. Jacob Seiler, orthopedic surgeon and physician owner at OSMS. I want you to get in and get treated with the highest quality of care so that you can get back doing the things that you love. Don't wait. Come see one of our orthopedic physicians at our acute injury walk-in clinic where you can receive same-day orthopedic care, usually without a referral. We're building excellent. I was late. Back to Bayport High School, top of the third. <laughs> Ethan Plog in total control of this game right now. He's got five strikeouts in the first six batters. He'll face the Pager, Perriman, and Casey. Pirates five in the first, nothing in the second. Uh, Ethan was always Kathy Ben listening in. Kathy Leach listening in, it sounds like. Doug Stecker says, Cole. It's cold, Doug. But we're up here. We got a heater. We got, well, you have a heater. Yeah. It's good to be the king, Mike. It's well, good to be the king. You, when you are God, it, it, you get the perks. Ethan Plog in his third inning of work. He's been even, perfect. Even your own special parking spot. Ply, plow to the pager. That was a little bit high. Ethan likes to work fast, that he does. Wines delivers. That one's right down the middle. One, one, you count. Like I said before, Plog struck out the five of the first six here. Curve ball and a beauty. That's a dandy. He breaks that in right on top of you. One, two now. Ethan looking for his sixth strike of the afternoon. Strikeout number six. Yeah, let's see. Can we make it around the horn? One, two, three, four. Oh, oh couldn't do it. <laughs> Ethan set a school record in the last <laughs> inning. Ethan did with three strikeouts. <laughs> Tied one. Well, it could be with a pass ball, obviously, but let's not complicate the game here. Plog delivers again, and he is simply pounding the strike zone right now, Mike. Yeah, when uh, Ethan was coming up, he he liked that strike zone, and he doesn't he doesn't waste time out there. He's always been a fast worker. Cal flinched on that one; it bounced past him. You don't need to take one for the team there when there's nobody on base. Well, that's what you got the backstop for, right? And it's a good backstop; comes right back at. Yeah, you. It, it, it's, it works well. It's more well, of a bounce back that I call it a backstop. Yeah, that's true. That was good design. Saves a lot of steps for everybody. Strike two swinging. Scuffs that ball up. You know, get that. So we're at six, Mike, looking for strikeout number seven here in the third inning. Plog looks in to Casper. Wines delivers. That ball's hit right side. Knutson with a nice play. Steps on first and gets the out. Did One nice, unassisted. Did a nice job stepping back. Waited for the ball to land. Picked it up on the hop and stepped on the bag. Takes after his dad over there at first. The Is that where Harvey played? Oh, Harvey shortstop. I was, I was going to say more of a center. No, fielder, not but. kidding. Harvey played shortstop. Really? Oh, yeah, quite the. He had a good the, range. You know, fast pitch Hall of Fame here in Wisconsin. Yeah, good range. Get from A to B in a hurry. There was a strike, by the way. I don't way. think Harvey's lost a step. <laughs> I think he's lost more than a step. Yeah, he hasn't found it. I know that. <laughs> Oh, to the count now. Wait, we'll make it through the uh, coaching staff. Next up. We got Wilchis already. We took care of Noy. Yeah, well, we got Ludke's Ludke, all that's left. Well, he, we may never see him because he's not Ludke. coming out of the dugout if Plog keeps doing this. Yeah, he's, he's going to sit in there with Strike his mittens on. three, swinging. Yeah, and that's the end of that one. Ethan Plog dealing. We go to the bottom of the third. Pirates lead 5-0. This is the Bayport Radio.
Zesty's Frozen Custard and Grill. Zesty's serving up a full food and frozen custard menu. Now open right across from Bayport High School at 2639 Lineville Road. Offering a different flavor of the day, each day 11 until 9. Try their weekly special baskets or enjoy some of Zesty's awesome, fresh, frozen custard. Zesty's Frozen Custard and Grill, the finest frozen custard in town. And we're back. Just commenting on Coach Wilch's uh, agility going down over to the first base I box. I don't think he pulled anything. <laughs> Seems to be a little quicker than he was before his Achilles injury. Well, Ethan Plog will lead off here in the bottom of the third. Pirates lead 5-0. Tristan Hunt working his third inning of work. Tristan, 1-2-3 last inning. So you got to... You gotta be happy about that. Oh, that's he didn't lot waste a lot of pitches. I think he had two extra pitches that Ethan inning. So Pirates, very efficient. Ethan will try to help the cause here. Is uh, if you've watched this game up to this point, five runs probably enough if Ethan keeps dealing the way he's dealing. Block takes that one outside from Hunt. Hunt struggled to find his own. He's been missing to the same spot pretty consistently. Last time up, Ethan reached on an air by the third baseman. If he had long sleeves on, he might have caught that one. That one, a little looper to right field. That thing's going to drop. drop. And Plog with a line drive to right. <laughs> That's one of those ones where it looks a line drive in the books. That was a screamer. And so Bo Jensen now you're better. Bo Jensen's dad, huge Yankee fan. Much like Coach Knutson. So I don't think Ethan's going 5-0, and he happens to be the pitcher, and they haven't ran from him, and there he goes. Just like I said. And he's going to be safe at second. So Ethan's stolen base. Ethan's got good speed. He's uh. I just didn't think they'd run for him first and then steal, but... They're leaving him in there. I gotta get him to stretch his legs out, keep his legs warm. So Bo Jensen now with a chance for an RBI. The designated hitter tonight. Bo with the base on balls the first time up. Hits that one the right field. And foul. That's gonna get back into the batting cage. Batting cage area. Yeah, I think Ethan's hit probably would have been a pop out to the pitcher if the wind wouldn't have been blowing. <laughs> So Jensen the junior. Hunt looks in the Casey. The 0-2 pitch to Jensen. Curveball hit back up the middle. He's going to do his job. A little small ball gets to third. So plug to third. Looks like as every, Jensen grounds out 6-3. Every time that shortstop throws it, it looks like an adventure at first base. So Dylan Heyer now your batter. Dylan trying to get on every eye here. Get the Pirates their sixth run this afternoon. Bottom of the third, if you just joined us, Bayport scored five in the first. Higher swings through the first one. 0-1. Oh, one. Dylan is a good bunter. He can lay him down and, and beat him. Yeah, the Pirates love the squeeze play, as you know. First state championship ever for Bayport it was a squeeze play. 0-1 oh, the count. That one shot to left field. That's going to be just oh. foul. Not sure Coach Noy ever saw that one go by him. Nope, he didn't even turn his head. No, oh, no. Well, he's got his hood up now, so. Yeah, they're just warm. <laughs> Fashion went out I the window Coach about an Dubs hour ago. Coach going ice fishing after this. <laughs> so 0-2 to Dylan. Hunt to Casey. Dylan pops that one up out of play. Several years ago when Jake was playing, I... I told Otis I was going to go grab a couple of 55-gallon barrels and throw some pallets in them and start a fire. Otis wasn't too crazy about yeah, that no. idea. Otis was a safety freak. Yeah, he, yeah, he, was. Got, a, he got a little excited about that one. <laughs> it was cold. Go to the count. That ball's little chin music. That's the first time he's been on that side of the plate today. One, two, now the count. We've got heaters up here in the box, just if you're wondering. And a lot of hot air. Oh, they got that going for us. That shot to left field that is going to be a hit. hit. 
So Heyer with a RBI. That was a nice rip by Dylan. Brings up Brooks Knudsen. Brooks with an RBI the first time up. Left-hander. We're number four, the uh, number of uh, one of the Brewer all-time greats, the Igniter. Wasn't that Paul Mahler? Yes, Paul. it was. It's trying to my baseball history there. Why did Brett become such a good ball player with you helping him? That's a good point. <laughs> both got my, it from his mother. Both my, games, both my kids overcame their dad's athletic ability. Yeah, they got it from their mother, much like mine. <laughs> Thank God for that, Eric. <laughs> Oh, one to count to Knutson. That's going to be Knutson, a little dance in the box. A little nimble movement of the feet. Yeah, well, his dad's quite a dancer. One, one to count. Brooks the junior. Brooks could put a charge in one here, possibly. That's inside again. Two, one, not a count. Those are ones that are tough to hit when they're inside on your shoelaces. Yeah, you shouldn't probably try to. No. Frowned upon. Not illegal, no. just frowned upon. Yeah, Probably would have helped him find the bench again. 2-1 now the count. Knudsen hits to the right side. Ball's going to be second base. going to get a force at second for the one out. So fielder's choice. Second out of the inning, but a runner now at first base in Knudsen. We'll see if he's running. Brings up Carson Hawley. Brent Noy giving out the signs over there to Brooks. Brooks wondering, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> Go get dominoes. And yeah, make sure it's hot. <clears throat> Hunt trying to get out of there. There goes Knutson. Knutson's going to get there easy. Brooks goes face first into the bag. At least he doesn't. his mom doesn't have to do the laundry this that time. That is the nice part about the turf. Yeah. You know, I mean, you might get a little rug burn, but hey. The white stays Everything's white. white. White stays white. Yeah. So Hawley now trying to make it 7-0 here. 1-0 oh the count. That's going to be high. That one almost hit the bat behind his head. You should bring that bat down. You're right there. Coach Plummer. 2-0 oh the count. Write that down. Save that because I know I'm not right very often. That's high. 3 0 now the count. Try to get Knutson. No way. Almost threw that one to center. Field. Hunt likes that play. Get those infielders moving around. He, a ground ball gets through in a hurry. I just worry about the batter right now and let Brooks do what he wants to do out there at second. All you got to do is get the batter out. Uh, you got two outs and only sneak concern. Leaving with the, the right side wide open over there. We'll see if Carson can take advantage of that. That's in the dirt and he doesn't need to as he gets a walk. And that'll go back to the top of the order with Squirrel up. Skunk on deck. <laughs> Cal's going to love that. Chipmunk is in the hole. <laughs> that would fit Carter. Yeah, Carter Cleese, Chipmunk. I like it. That fits. Squirrel, the right field's going to get down. Get on, it's going to get, get in the on. gap. Nice play by the right fielder, oh, and he man. makes the catch. That was a dandy Great play. Great play by Parman and Wright to save a few runs. But the Pirates get one. 6-0 Pirates after three. Listen to Bayport Radio. Hey, Howard Swamico area. Alex and Danielle here with your local budget blinds. We know you're on a budget with both time and money, so we make it easy. We come over with our free in-home consultation and free design services for blinds, drapes, and shutters. You pick what you want, we measure, and you get the quote before we leave. And to top that off, right now, get 25% off. We have financing available and lifetime warranties. Blinds installed in a couple hours. Now, Soar's trying to warm up on this or what? Yeah. Give me the heat a little bit. 
for about 10 seconds. Left foot. Uh, she's going to do summer school, I think, in Verona, yeah. All right, back here at uh, Bayports Field, top of the fourth inning. Leading off for Sheboygan North will be shortstop Luke Kanasek. Ethan Plogg still on the bump pitching. He's been dealing them pretty hot and heavy here. He's throwing a lot of strikes and not much else. Seven strikeouts out of the nine batters today for Ethan. A fly out, and how did the other kid get out? How was the pop out, out. Pop to out. Right. Brooks Knudsen. Yep. So we haven't seen a ground ball yet for Sheboygan North. Here we go, leading them off. Ethan gets a signal from Cal in the first pitch. It's in there for a strike. A little, little curveball there. Little bender left hander versus left hander. Impossible to hit. I haven't oh. seen a performance like this since Chris Learman pitched in Keel. Did you pitch in Keel? <laughs> All right, so we're not going to talk about that. Just mentioned he gave a back to back to back home runs once. And then they were out of baseballs and they had to call the game. 2-1 <laughs> one count. Ethan's missed wide left. There, he got him swinging 2-2 two to two right now. Looking for I've, strikeout I've, number eight. I found Ethan in the middle inning sometimes tends to get a little bored and fall tip, come back to the screen. Sometimes he'll throw an extra pitch or two just because he's you bored to, with what's going on. Wants to stay out on. there a while, Mike? Yeah, he yeah. you know. In and out off the mound, he, he went that far. He liked to stay out there for more than 30 minutes, 30 seconds. But he'll dial her back in quick and uh, make short order of whoever's there. Strike three. Like I said, dialed it back in. Got the shortstop swinging. He goes and sits down. Yeah, Ethan's got that little motion that, as a left-hander, makes it a, so difficult to see the baseball. And if you're a left-handed batter, you don't have much of a chance against him when he's throwing strikes. Andrew Lorgi, the DH, is now up. Hitting from the left side. Ethan throws, yes, strike, check swing, and the umpire said he went around, strike one. Well, he stands awful far back in the box. He's trying to get as much of a look at it as he can at what Ethan's throwing him. And there's a ball from Ethan up high and on the outside part of the plate. Well, I'm way behind the plate, and Ethan's throwing well. Yeah, he's trying to get as much of a look at Ethan's pitches coming in as he possibly can. Uh, and he got a good look at that when Ethan just drilled him. <laughs> Hit him so hard, the uh, shorts, the uh, DH, Andrew threw his bat to the, the wrong, wrong side. <laughs> threw it to the Bayport dugout instead of the uh, Sheboygan dugout. Nonetheless, the bat's been retrieved. He's on first base. First base runner for Sheboygan today. And I got to fill this in because Mr. Frieder is trying to stay warm. So it's Carter Josh Police Fisher. Out there. Carter's look at Carter out there with his hands. And Josh Fisher's at bat. Third baseman. Took a strike looking. Ethan has a real nice pickoff move to first base. I don't, think, I don't think they're running down six nothing. He's pretty he's pretty slick with it. There's strike two. I don't think Ethan's gonna go anywhere but home plate. So Ethan out of the stretch for the first time tonight. the pitch swung on foul ball back to the backstop batters out so runner's going to get the second base on the play yeah it was pass ball but first base was occupied so the batter is out two outs we'll give him credit for the strikeout i think uh, cal got mixed up there a little bit <laughs> might have been looking curveball and got fastball up now is Mark Williams, the left fielder. Man on second base. What are in relation to Mitch Williams, the wild thing? Oh, oh the wild thing's in center field. That's Sawyer. Oh, I didn't know Sawyer was the wild Sawyer thing. Sawyer was the wild thing. He uh, pitched for us a little bit when he was younger. 
And uh, hence the wild thing is why he pitched a little bit when he was younger. Yeah. Well, they were playing a freshman game at the pier, and he came in the pitch, and everybody in the pier's dugout groaned because they had seen him pitch over the years, and they were worried because they had nobody knew where it was going, including Sawyer. One one count. A oh, little low. I like that pitch. Ethan liked that pitch. Umpire didn't. Two to one on the count. Two outs. Carter's keeping the DH close to second base. Cleese, he's dipping in behind him. There's a strike on the outside part of the plate. I think Ethan's just going to take this guy himself and get back in his coat in the dugout and warm back up again. Now let's see if I'm right. Carter's staying home. And there's a swing and a miss, strike three. So Sheboygan North gets one man on by hit batter and make Ethan makes short order of the rest of the crew. After four and a half, it is now six to nothing Pirates. Bump, bump, bump. Here we go. Who's five? New pitcher, number five, Aaron Kessler for Shawanda North. Kessler? Not Baker's mark, but Kessler. <laughs> Let's go out with a bang. Ooh, I would have. The freedom you've been searching for, we found it. It's on two wheels. Start your journey today at Vandervest Harley Davidson of Green Bay. Townline Pub and Grill. Looking for a place to grab some food? Stop at Townline. Taste the mouth-watering burgers, gourmet pizza, and endless appetizers. Offering a casual atmosphere and a lively feel. Why not stop in on the way to the game? Grab a bite to eat after the game, too. A night out, a group gathering after a sporting event, or even a birthday. We want to thank you for your patronage. Townline, where the people come for the food and stay for the fun. Well, Casper. Sheboygan Norris made a pitching change. Kessler is now in for pitch to pitch for them, number five. He uh, starts out with a ball away. He had a nice curveball during warm-ups. We'll see if he uses it. I think that was just it. He got a strike over the outside part of the plate. Cal shrugs his shoulders and says, that's all you got? All right. He settles back in. He's going to see what he can do to get a hit here today. And there was a curveball, and it hung, and Cal popped it up. It's going to be trouble with the win. Right fielder comes in, makes a catch. Right fielder's made some nice plays out there tonight. Yeah, definitely had his handful of uh, opportunities today. Carter Calise up to bat. Carter got a single in the first inning. Let's see what he can drive one through here now. There's a ball outside. Carter settles in. And he drives one foul left field. Coach Noy gives him a new set of signal, singles. Signals. <laughs> Lacrosse game going on behind us. There's a ball way outside. That one used the comeback on the backstop. Carter's got a 2-1 count up against him. Let's see if he can uh, take advantage here and drive one through. Fouled one off the That's left side. Play. 
Third baseman drifts over and makes the catch. Carter is out with a pop-up in the fall territory. With that wind blowing. Blew it right back in. Blew it right back in the field of play. Craig Cabot's back up the bat. Craig is first time up. Got to first base. Made the third out in the second inning on a 5-3 play. Craig Cabot, also the drum major in the band. Craig is a multifaceted young man. He is very interesting. There's a ball inside. Catcher let get by him. Got a 2-0 count on him. Craig going out to Gonzaga as a student athlete. Going to try his hand at Division One baseball. It's probably going to use both hands, I bet. Well, if he's pitching, he only needs one. Yeah. <laughs> Jim. Jim Abbott. Here's the pitch. That one's right down the middle of the plate. That's a strike. Craig's got a 3-1 count. Now he's going to settle in and take one. Let her fly. Get a good hit off of it and see if you can get around the bases. Ethan Plog on deck, hoping to get a chance here in the bottom of the fourth. There's one right up through the middle. Nice ground ball right through the box. Center fielder makes the play, brings it back in. Craig's over at first base. The pitcher, number 18, Ethan Plog. Do a little karaoke up here, Mike, if you wanted to. I don't recognize any of this music. This is way younger than me. Not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got you by a year. That's, you're just used to listening to it. <laughs> Craig steals second base. Pitcher, or the catcher's throw was just a little bit on the short step, shortstop side of second. So Cabs is in there with no problem. Craig Bookinger listening in tonight. Just got home from golf practice, so... Uh... They practice? It's had a little breezy out there. He's actually currently making dinner for the oh. family. I'll stop on my way home. There's a ball. One and one. What are we having, Buck? That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his fish is pretty good, too. I'm thinking probably some Cheerios. His venison's not bad. There's a swing. His old fashions are good. You throw an olive in there, that's dinner. <laughs> At this rate, they're never going to invite me back. Surprised they invited you once. That's true. <laughs> well, desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> well, when you just, when you just show up, Mike. Well, that's <laughs> when you, true. When you just show up, what are you going to do, kick yeah. you out? Yeah, well. <laughs> All right, we got a one-two count here, two outs. Ethan's looking for one that he can get a hold of. Fall the last one off. Sautéed onion, peppers, and shrimp for dinner at the Bookinger House. There's one. Drive deep to center field. It's over. Center fielder's off the center fielder's glove. One run will score. Ethan's rounding second. He's heading for three. Shortstop's got the ball. Relay not in time. Ethan Plog just brought her around to third base. Ethan with a triple. Pirates lead 7-0. That was a darn nice hit. Put it right over the center fielder's head. He threw his hand up at the last chance and got a piece of it, but Ethan was on his horse and pulled the plow around the third base with him. You don't have to drag the field after the game. Ethan just took care of it. Conference with the umpires here. Bogey's trying to decide where he wants to go for dinner after the game's over. Yeah, I think they're wondering if there was an interference there. Oh. Appears no. Oh. Two outs. Run, runner on third base. Dylan Heyer up the bat. Excuse me, I'm sorry, Bo Jensen. I missed Bo. Bo's got an opportunity to up fires out. Inside pitch. Catcher loses track of it. Bo says, stay there. Who's pitch running down there? He's cold. Courtesy runner, I should say. Did they put one in? They did. He looks like he's froze. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I believe it is. There's a fly ball out to the right fielder. He's drifting back, makes the catch. That's out number three. So after four innings, the Pirates drag one across, and they're up seven to nothing. I'm a people person. I'm a movie buff. I'm a data wizard. It's time to thrive in a career you love and soar higher with NWTC, where you can excel in a flexible, career-focused program that fits you, what you enjoy doing, and how you want to learn. Whether that's in person or online, it all starts at NWTC. Soar higher with us. Chrysler World of Abrams, your number one dealership with a veteran staff in all departments. Ten years experience and counting, quality you can depend on. Chrysler World is your top dealer in customer satisfaction and sales satisfaction year in and year out. A full staff service and body department that will work on all makes and models, free estimates, a huge parts department. And they need cars. They'll buy any car, whether or not you purchase from them. Chrysler World of Abrams. Contact them. Follow them. Be sure to check. And we're back, Mike. We go to the top of the fifth, Mike. Ethan Plog throwing a gem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine strikeouts through four innings. He goes to the top of the fifth. It'll be Hunt, Rabarchek, DePager. Ethan has definitely been efficient today. Ethan's hit one batter, and that's been all for Sheboygan North. Oh, the guy was crowding the plate. Had to back him off a little bit. The biggest issue for the part so far just has been around the horn after <laughs> yeah. the strike-up. Yeah, we're 0 for 3. He had a lot of practice because he's got a lot of strike-ups. <laughs> we're 0 for 3 on the around the horn deal. So nine around the horns, and I think we got about seven of them that uh, been eight, made airs on. Yeah. So Ethan to and Tristan all took a turn. Hunt. Wines delivers strike one swinging from Hunt. Hunt started the game at pitcher. He went three innings. Ethan looks in the Cal. Wines again delivers strike two called. Cal framed that one really nice. I, I thought mean, it was we got a bit about outside. a three to one ratio between strikes and balls here as Plog is, as they say, dealing. O oh, two the count. That ball's hit to left field, and well, I should say a third baseman, and Wynn kind of holds that one up. And Dylan Heyer pounced on it. Dylan Heyer makes the play, so one out here in the top of the fifth. Rabarczyk struck out looking last time up. Plog, winds, deliver, strike one again. Well, he shouldn't feel bad because he's not the only one. No, he's not. Wagon are still looking for their first hit tonight. Curve ball, swing and strike two. Impossible if you're a left-hander to hit that ball. Oh, that's coming right at you. It's Look just for another one. Strike three, swing and high cheese. There we got the third, to short, to second. The hey, third. hey, we made it. Just need a little warm up, a little practice at it. Now Aaron Kessler will bat for Blake DePager. Strike one swinging by Kessler. I think that one fooled him an awful lot because it dropped <laughs> off the table and he was still swinging at it. Plog, that one's lying to right, but way follow too. Or in the softball field. High cheese right here coming from Ethan Plog. Ethan just throws the fastball right past them, but he gets a piece of it into the netting. Now I think you're going to see the yacker or the curveball. <laughs> Ethan Wines delivers. That's just high. They're going to say he didn't go. If I'm the ump and it's 7-0 and it's cold, he went. <laughs> Bogey had a hard time getting his hands yeah, out of his Yeah, he barely pockets. got his hands out of his pockets. <laughs> One, two count, strike. There he got three, him. Three swinging. Three up, three down. Pirates lead 7 0. We go to the bottom of the fifth. You listen to Bayport Radio.
Hey, let's be honest. You know how it is. If you're a sports fan, there is no such thing as too much sports information. Well, that's just one of the reasons to follow Voice of BP on Twitter. We're talking live tweeting every Bayport broadcast. Don't stop there. Like us on Facebook. Because when it comes to pirate sports, the more ways to get it, the better. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's Pizza order of 30 or more. Get Wisconsin's best pizza, dine-in, or delivery at any of our four locations. Open until 10. Considering a room update or building your dream home and don't know where to begin? The design team at Mako's will guide you through the selection process and put your mind at ease. Solutions and styles to make you the envy of the neighborhood. Mako's, your premier flooring center. Now... We're back to Bayport. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And if you're a math major, you need 10 to close it out. They got seven. Sorensen said, hey, two runs and I got this thing. Eric teaches English, obviously. Math, that is forte. So the Pirates need three. And they're going to start with Dylan Heyer, the third baseman, Brooks Knudsen, and Carson Hawley. Kessler again on the mound, delivers. That ball's shot to Noy, and he didn't even try for that one. Trent didn't. His feet are glued to the ground. He's not as nimble as he used to be. He's no ballerina. I'll That's tell you that much. much. Back in his UT used to be low. That ball's down in the turf, 1-1 one, one the count. Now he's got Chase doing all that stuff for him. Yeah. Well <laughs> That's his wife makes him look good. 1-1. One, one. Just a bit outside, 2-1. We're commenting on Coach Noy's pickleball skills. His wife Heather is much better at it than he is. That's 3-1. Higher with a single last time up. Trying to get on base. Get something started here for the Pirates. In the bottom of the fifth. If you're just joining us, Pirates, five in the first, one in the third, one in the fourth. That makes seven. Five, one, and one. Ball four, and Higher gets a walk. Brooks Knudsen now, you're better. Brooks with a single and a fielder's choice. Brooks, Carson, Hawley will be next for the Pirates. Kessler to Knudsen. Knudsen lines that one back against the netting. <laughs> Kessler to Casey. Oh, strike two on a big yakka. That's a big bender there. Coach Knudsen yells, battle now, Brooks. Brooks will shorten up here. Try to put this in play. 0-2 the count. Strike, three, swinging. Just a bad pitch outside there. Right fielder, number 24, Carson Hawley. So now Hawley the batter. Carson to fly out to center and a base on balls. Higher at first. He's holding. Kessler works quick. That doesn't take much of a step there. Makes it hard for the uh, first base to be able to steal on him. He looks in again. 1-0 the count. I think somebody was looking to get hit on that Carson pitch. almost wore that one, but... <laughs> he was a feeble attempt to get out of the way. Little curveball there. 2-0 the count. Kessler again delivers. That's going to be a strike, even though the catcher didn't catch it. And Dylan beats feet over to second base. No. Blazing speed. 
Carson with a chance with a single here to knock one in to give the Pirates an 8-0 lead. Your winning run is on deck. So Kessler looks in. Hawley ready. 3-1, that's low. I think you're going to see the big bender here. It seems to be his go-to pitch. Higher at second. Kessler looks in the Casey out of the stretch. That ball's hit to short. Shortstop picks, flips, got him. 5 3. Saw me 6 3 on the play. For the second out. Second baseman, he got six, past the ball, Chris. Sure. Cheryl now the batter. Squirrel trying to knock a run in here. Cheryl reached. That's ball oh. hit to right. That's in the that's gap. Drop. That's going to get in the gap that's all the bad. way. Cheryl's going to turn it and stop. Nice play again by the right fielder. But nice not hit. before Dylan Heyer scores to make it 8-0. Nice hit by Squirrel. Put it right out in the right center gap. The right fielder made a real nice play to get over and cut it off and save it from being extra bases. Cal Casper, you're better. Caleb Sherrill on first after an RBI single. Cal's due for a hit. Kessler to Casper. And Squirrel's going to take second base. That was kind of a different type of a slide. So 1-1 one, one the count. 8-0 Pirates here in the bottom of the fifth. Umpire's looking over at the uh, Coach Dubs. I'm not sure what's going on over there. Something about over near the dugout, a gate or a door blew open, I'm guessing. Probably the gate to the bullpen down there. Coach Wilchus is all over it. Yeah, quick as a cat down there, that guy is. So 1-1 one, one to Cal Casper. Casper pitches, curveball, strike two. Cal buckles at the and he, and he knew it. He saw it coming all the way in, and he just couldn't he just pull the couldn't trigger. Just couldn't pull the trigger, as they say, Mike. <clears throat> well, Cal's due. Time for him to put one into play. 1-2 one, count. They're going to go back to <laughs> second and almost. Put that in squirrel's ear hole. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> mm -hmm. One, two. That's a curveball. Stayed inside. Not two, two. Two to the count to Casper, the catcher. 8 0 Pirates. North trying to hold them, and Cal's going to go up into the gap. Third baseman, nice play. Five. Pick first flips, baseman. They got made him. A, first baseman made a real nice pick on that throw. Pirates get one. Leave one. 5 0 Pirates after five. You listen to Bayport Radio.
We got smoking good ribs, wings and pizza, Parker John's. Sides made from scratch, hickory smoked meats, yeah, Parker John's. Come on down to Parker John's for pizza or barbecue. Smoking daily just for you. We got smoking good ribs, wings and pizza, Parker John's. I see you down there, it's the place to meet ya, Parker John's. Parker John's. And we're back. Bottom of the, excuse me, top of the six. Last thing went by so fast I lost it. Leading off for Sheboygan is Eric Parman, the right fielder. He's been a busy man today. Made a lot of good plays out there. Parman's been really good in right. A that, bright spot. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna stand a chance against Ethan Clogg, who is still out there pitching. I don't think Ethan's thrown over 50 pitches yet. He's been efficient, as they say, Mike. Yeah, he's been putting them right across the plate, and Sheboygan North has been just waving at him as they go by. So here we go. First pitch right down the main drag, strike one. I'd have to say, Mike, 90% of first pitches have been a strike here for yeah. Ethan today. Yeah, he's, he's been definitely in front of the batters the whole way through. There's one fall off to the softball diamond. Ethan's got him 0-2. See what he comes back with here. I'm thinking his slider. 11 strikeouts for Plog. Make There's that 12. 12. And the big dilemma is around the horn. Yep. Can Three. they do it? They've almost successfully completed. Yes! yes. Another successful around We're the horn two for, for the two. Pirates. Two in a row. They're on a roll right now. They warmed up. Ethan a little bit outside there to a rare ball first catcher pitch. Catcher Gavin Casey, another young, another young man that's earned his keep today. There's a strike. He's been pretty solid behind the plate for Sheboygan. Little dude for a catcher. Uh, not a lot there. I think that one fooled the umpire, but. It did. He called it a ball. He, well, it's a ball because he called it a ball. Mike. Right. Doesn't mean it was. It just means he called it a ball. Well, it is a ball then, Mike. Well, now it's a strike. So now we're at two and two. He could have been wrong, though. Could have been like Angel Hernandez. <laughs> oh, God. I've seen a couple of his calls. There's strike three. And we're going around the horn again. Okay, here we go. This is the excitement of the night so far. Can the pi Pirates success again? Hey, three hey. for three. That's okay. Back to the top of the order for Sheboygan. We're looking at Luke. Kanasich. He lays down a bunt to Ethan. Throw over to first base, and Pirates are done. One, two, three. Lay the bunt. We're out of that inning. This is how I convinced my dad to go to NWTC. Every day, dad would get home from work and be like, Hey, honey. So I was like, Dad, haven't you always told me I should go after my dreams? And he said, well, of course. And I'm like, well, then why don't you? So that's what I did. I went to NWTC for design and graphic technology. Good thing dream jobs can happen at any age. Hungry? Check out this deal on the best pizza in Wisconsin. I love this pizza. And you'll love getting $5 off any Gallagher's pizza order of 30 or more. Call us for delivery. It's the best way to feed your office for lunch. Luxury vinyl floors are waterproof, kid-proof, and pet-proof, so they can stand up to real-life conditions. You'll find the largest selection at Mako's. Do it yourself or trust our guaranteed installation. Mako's, your premier flooring center. Now that's value. And we're back. Bottom half of the sixth inning, Pirates leading eight to nothing. Coach Wolch just taking his afternoon jog. Oh, look at jog. Coach there. He slowly works into it. Yeah, he built Now speed. he's in a full sprint. Yep. And there it goes. And now he's winding it down. You know, if he turned sideways, I don't know we could see him anymore. He's lost so much weight. 
Leading off for the Pirates. What do we got coming up here? Get a pitch. Carter Calise. Oh, no. Followed by Craig Cabot and the pitcher, Ethan Plog. Well, I think you're going to get the. Uh, we need two of them here to go home. It'll be a 10 0 win. Let's see if the Pirates can get a guy on the base. That's one a little bit outside. That was ball one. <laughs> Carter falls one out, out of play. Who cares? <laughs> one and one to Carter. We got Digs some over analyzing going on here by a production guy in our score. Score clock guy. Another fall back out of play to the left. Cutter is just a little bit late on him. Doesn't need to. The boss has got it. That's all that matters. One, two to Carter. There's a ball low. Again, catcher for Sheboygan. Does a real nice job keeping that ball in front of him. Yeah, he's done a really good job. Count Gavin Casey. Doesn't let much get past him. That's a ball inside. That one even fooled the umpire because he flinched. Full count to Carter. Let's see if he can make something happen here. Punches one up through the box. Carter's Second quick. He's going to get there. He's safe. Looking for two. Ball got by the first baseman. Carter takes off for second, and he's up with a stand up. So, so your winning run now comes to the plate. Single for Carter, air on the second baseman, and Carter ends up at two, and Craig Cabot up the bat. No, nope, not Craig. We're going to have a pitch hitter for Craig Cabot. Oh, we got a sub for Craig. Drew Bruckner. No, oh, Drew Bruckner is hitting. Drew Bruckner up the bat. Subbing in for Craig. Not sure if it's a pitch hit roll or if it's going to be a replacement but here's an opportunity him for put the game away nice base hit here over the fence would be better wow but I don't ask for much <laughs> trying to get home quick Mike yeah supper I'm hungry Laura Laura waiting at home for you or what's going on over there I think I got to pick supper up when I leave <laughs> It was a big debate what we were having for supper. So. Me too. I stopped at the store on my way home from work today. That's why I was a little late. There's the pitch. That one's outside. I stopped at the pig. I got a variety of things. Uh, we could have some pork chops tonight. Possibly some hamburgers, chicken breasts maybe. There's the pitch. Fouled back out of play to the right. Got a 1-1 count. Got him up inside on his hands, but he fought it off and pushed her out of play. Carter's taking a casual lead off of second base. Don't think they're looking for him to go anywhere. Everybody's back to their normal position. There's a ball outside. Nice play again by Gavin Casey behind the plate. He just He's smooth back there. He, he does is. It. He's not flopping like a fish on the ice. He just moves right over in front of it and makes the play. Chuck stick chasing a foul ball. There's a drive. That's going to drop in the gap. Left center field. Carter's around in third, heading for home. Bruckner gets a single, and he stops at first base. Nice. Bruckner stayed back on that one and drilled into the gap. And he was waiting on a curveball, and he got it and drove it right out to the gap. Pirates. No. Well, you know, here's a good situation, because we have this conversation in the press box where they feel like, would Ethan Plog be upset? If he doesn't finish out a possible no-hitter, I don't think he would be if he hits one in the gap here yeah, and he scores be, the win and run. Yeah, he's up the bat right now. He's been playing pretty well, hitting the ball, putting it in play. I think, I think we just steal him and it. let Ethan finish it. There's a drive right up through the box. Shortstop catches it in the chin. Everybody's safe. I think you got to give him a hit because the guy's been pitching so well. Yeah, I, I, think, <laughs> I, I think we have a liberal scorekeeper, and he just gave him a hit. I did. Well, he's pitching so well, you got to give him a hit. Yeah. Uh, shortstop made a 
Nice play to get behind second base. So Bo base. Jensen with a chance for a walk-off, the junior. One that he can put in the memory bank. When he's 40 years old, say I played at Bayport and had a walk-off. There's a strike in, on the inside part of the plate. Bo looks down at Coach Noyes, getting the signals. Ben Wesolowski now on deck. So Bo says, Ben, I don't want you to hit. I think Bo was trying to wear one there. He just eh, didn't. He could have leaned into that a little bit better. Yeah. It's cold, though. Yeah, That would stink for a few it's seconds. It's going to stink, unless you're one of us, Mike. That's right. Well, you got a little extra insulation that Correct. you don't feel those things. That's because of all those abs of steals videos been, you've been doing. Yeah. Bo to right There's field. Right fielder's That's on his That's going to get over his, over his head. It's going to be a walk-off for yeah. Bo Jensen. Uh, Why are we? 10-0. 10 to nothing. There we go. And that's your ball game, folks. Bo drove one over the right fielder's head. You got to be happy for Bo on that one. And did a real nice job running it out. I think it would have been a double at any other game. Well, there's your game. Pirates win or 10 to nothing. Be Mike, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been, it's been real. It's been it's fun, been real but it hasn't fun. been real fun. Yeah, yeah. Good thing nobody understands dad jokes but us. Pirates win 10 0. Big win over Sheboygan North tonight. Thanks to Chris Learman for the production. Mike Plummer helping us out here tonight. Have a great weekend, everybody. Chris is playing the instant replay on it. He's got all his gadgets working today. All right. Are we ready to wrap this up, Chris? Yeah, that's the ballgame. All right. For Mike Frieder. Thanks again to Mike Plummer, Chris Learman, Troy Frisk on the PA system, Eric Sorensen. On the scoreboard, it always takes a lot of people to get this done. But once again, have a great weekend. Howard Swamico, you've been listening to Bayport Radio.